Greetings and welcome to your new video. I hope you are all doing well. So guys, if you want to disable or block OTA update so that you can stay on a specific iOS version and you want to stop your device being updated automatically because you are waiting for a jailbreak or using version which is supported by a troll store you can use the new ota disabler which you can easily install with a troll store here you can see this official post by the original developer from here you can get the latest ota disabler i will attach this as a reference in the pinned comment or in the description and the method shown in this video along with the new OTA disabled for troll store is completely free now as far as the compatibility is concerned it will work from iOS 14 through iOS 17.0 provided you have troll store installed now guys let's see how we can install it and use it so first of all you can see that I am currently on iOS 15.8 and if I check for a software update you can see that i was 15.8.1 is the latest all right so we can see the update now to block or disable the latest updates first of all install troll store the troll store installation guides are in the description now open safari and head to the official post by the developer and you can get the file from here tap it download all right, so once it is complete, you're good to go. Go home. Now open Troll Store and hit the plus button. Install IPA file and you'll find the file that we just got. Open it and hit install. All right, so it is installed. You'll find it here on your home screen. Open it and you will see that ODA is currently enabled. So simply hit the disable button and it will ask you to reboot your device hit reboot all right guys after the reboot you can see that if i open the app you can see that ota is disabled let's check it out we will go to settings general software update and you can see it says it is on ios 15.8 and ios is up to date so we have successfully blocked or disabled the OTA update now on the other hand if you want to enable the OTA updates back you can simply open the OTA disabler and then hit enable and then you will be asked to reboot hit reboot all right guys you can see that after the reboot if I open the app you can see OTA is now enabled let's check it out go to settings general and software update all right you can see now the ODA updates are enabled all without a jailbreak that's all for this video guys if you still have questions please ask in the comments section and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care